Good evening. Today's a free day. I have busted out the vodka tonics in my giant ass mug. I don't know how fast I'll drink this. I tend to drink faster when I like play, ironically, when I play action games. Because I'm all like, get in the action as soon as there's downtime. Have a drink! So it's hard to say. I'll try not to get trashed. <sighs> Today's a good day to get trashed, though. Even though I have to work tomorrow. Because... Oh, I'm distracted by what he's saying now. He's talking about his sister. Well, I'm talking about distraction. There's some new buttons. Alright, there are some quick actions that don't make sense. that they added by default, like sub-only chat. I don't even have a sub button. <laughs> I should, maybe I should actually apply to that. Like I, like I have the ability to apply to that. I just never bothered to do it. Not that I'm like holding the requirements or anything. Fucking three viewers. That's impossible for me. Anyone upstairs? Is oh, Elise. That makes sense. Are you watering the flowers for me? I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate you helping out with the chores. I heard they think watering the plants qualifies as a chore. I said I did wash that big pile of clothes you had sitting around. Uh, I was gonna do the laundry tonight. I swear. Seriously, Elise. We're both adults. I really can't do this myself. I know you can, but I'm your sister, and I want to take care of you. I mean, what else is family for? You're right as usual. But yeah, I have news. I'm losing my job. The place that I work is closing its doors forever. Because it couldn't, it just couldn't survive the COVID problem. He was losing too much money, so it's closing down in two weeks. Well, that's fun. But hey. Like I said earlier today, let chaos reign, I guess. I just can't settle in. The last few years, it's just like, you just like, everything was like stable and good. Even like at the beginning of COVID, still, things were still like relatively stable and good for me. The last year has just been absolutely not. I'm just tired. Maybe that's why I'm so tired. Maybe I'm secretly stressed. I'm not like paying attention to it and I just like want to sleep. could be part of it. Or all of it. Right, also, hold on. Bonding points. I think I'm just gonna do the three here. I think I wanna get to know some of the new people. It's at least I'm Machias. If I did do it, it would, if I did do one of them, it would be Machias. But then who do then I'd have to leave out somebody. Yuna's would probably be a follow-up on what happened in Crossbell. Muse because I need to infiltrate the Ouroboros. I don't know what Kurtz would be. We'll do the three here. And I do need to remember to do... Um, 
enhance us to that training. But then also there's side quests and what not. The Becky Association. Oh, that thing. Oh, they're gonna negotiate. Rachel is a pretty smart businesswoman. Guest, huh? For Sunday school? Oh fuck, is that me? Is that what this quest is? I gotta teach the kids shit? Why do I feel like I have a quiz incoming? Marine, you came. Yeah, I heard you wanted me to be a guest teacher. Oh, it said right in the quest. I didn't read the quest. I never read the little letter. I just see, oh, who is it for? Where do I go? But why? You've already taught them a lot, right? Well, yes. Everything has been going well. Even the restless boys have been paying attention. That's so good to know you're reining them in. And now that I think about it, Rosie was popular with the boys at Thor's too. However, I've been having trouble teaching geography. Oh no. When I talk about places that are far away, the children have a hard time grasping what I'm talking about. In other words, they're just not getting it. I figure that since you've been all over, you might be able to pique their attention. I see. I mean, at the very least, my approach would be different from yours. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a refreshing change for the students. I also have another request. Could you get Elise to come as well? Her school is really famous in the Empire, and I thought the girls would love to hear from her. I'm sure it'll make things livelier and therefore easier for the students to take it all in. Alright. I'll need time to prepare myself mentally, but I'll let Elise know. <sighs> I need to look at this map. Okay, there's Raquel. City of Entertainment. Uh, we are going to this X camp, I believe. Uh, so we did that one, and then we did that one. Well, there's only four of them on the map. It's one by Ortis and the one by Heimdall, so... Those are our destinations. I appreciate that we went to, like, we're going to three, like, completely new places that we haven't been to yet. Uh, so that's cool. I kind of just want to, like, absorb, absorb this map. Uh, we've been all up in here. We've been all up in here. Uh, we've been to some of this. We haven't been to Michelin or anything. Or the Medical College. Uh, we've been to Ark's Fort. We've been all up in here. Definitely been there. We've been by Drekno Fortress, but not in it. So we've been all in here, more or less. Uh, we haven't been out here. We're going to be all up in here. I uh, wish I could see North Ambria's map. Or the URI... The URI section. Uh, we 
done. We haven't been around, like, Gala Lake or anything. But we've been through most of the country. And there's still a fourth game, so... You never know. I mean, yeah. Watch the entire country get blown up or something. Phantasmal Blaze Plan! Tore the continent apart! Something wrong with me? I said, this is where you were. It's about Sunday school. Actually, there's something I'd like your help with. You and I as temporary instructors? Well, if you're okay with it, then I don't mind. Thanks, that's a big help. Let's head over to Rosine right away. Thank you both for coming. It's been a while since I last saw you, Elise. You two have met before? We're acquainted. We actually met a few times when I was at the Heimdall Cathedral. We had the chance to talk here and there. My school and the cathedral are in the, are in the same district, in case you were wondering. Oh, I see. I guess it's a small world after all. Anyhow, you want me to teach geography today, right? Yes, with a focus on Celtic Crossbell and the Nord Highlands. In any case, they've only heard about those places, so it would be great if you can give them a quick overview. They're like fresh sights. That's true. I'd appreciate if you can answer any questions they may have. I'll let you two decide how to proceed with the class. In that case, I'll teach the basics. Do you want to handle the questions, Elise? Sure, leave them to me. Should we do a quick overview before the children arrive? Oh, please. Please? Do I got, do I got one? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, everyone, we have a special class today with very special guests. Reen and Elise, go ahead. All right, uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Reen Schwarzer. And at Thor's Branch campus, I, uh... He's an instructor in the Ashes of Chevalier. He's gonna teach us today? Cool! Yeah, this is gonna be so fun. Hey, you two, listen to the teacher. But more importantly, who is the black-haired lady? Mm, you're all so energetic. Guess I don't need to introduce myself after all. Elise, can you take over? Sure. Hello, nice to meet you all. My name is Elise, and I'm a student at St. Astraia Girls School. Destroy? That's the super famous one. Oh, you're so cool. It's super pretty. She looks like a princess. Mm, I'm so jealous. I'll be assisting Mr. Reen today. Nice to meet you all. That's a good intro. Alright, then let's get this class started. Let's talk about a place called Keldic. Keldic, I've heard of it, but... It's on the, the directly opposite side of the capital from Leaves. Simply put, it's... A market town. Fuck, I don't remember. It's either market or textiles. It's not textiles, that's Parm. The market town. It's a popular market town. Okay, if I got it wrong, I would have been corrected. Yeah, it's where people go to buy and sell things. You can buy snacks, juice, toys, and stuffed animals. Ah, that's like heaven. That was impressive. Yes, the children are super interested. So that's it for Keldic. Did everyone understand that? Sounds good. Let's see, if there aren't any questions, I guess we can proceed. Next is Crossbell. Crossbell. I know Crossbell. Grandpa told me that honey from Crossbell is yummy. So Crossbell is a honey town? Not quite. There are many neat places in Crossbell. At least, would you like to chime in here? Of course. Which place in Crossbell is famous for the honey? I'm gonna say Armorica because the other two don't make sense. Somebody probably said this somewhere. Armorica Village is the place in Crossbell that's famous for honey. They have many flower fields there, it's really pretty. Wow, how romantic. Maybe we can catch some bugs too. But at least you haven't been to our, our Marco village before, have you? Yes, I have. When I was accompanying the inspection team across Bell, I, just, I did some studying there. I see. Well, I'm, get, I'm getting it right. Let's talk, let's talk about outside the Empire. Next to this place I've been to a few times, the Nord Highlands. Oh, isn't that the place that's in all those old stories? Isn't it really far to the north? You know, Tom, that the place that has that super huge statue. 
Yeah, I remember the fairy tale, but I think that's all I know about it. I see. The region is named after the Nord people who live there. We have the goddess of the sky, but they worship something else. The wind. They worship the wind. Nord is on a plateau. They have majestic views and are surrounded by really tall mountains. The wind there feels really pleasant and almost divine. Is that different? I want to play tag there. I really, I've heard Nord is really big. You would get so lost there. That's about it for Nord. Does anyone have any questions? Can I start? Talk about so many places, but where are you two from? Yeah, you're not from any of the places we talked about, are you? I'll take it from here. We're from a place called Ymir. It's in the northern part of the Empire, and during winter it's completely white, covered in snow. White snow? Cool! It snowed so much today, and it's not cool. <laughs> uh, world covered in snow, how romantic. I didn't think they got so excited about the snow. Neither did I. Do you want to talk about that one thing? There's a very popular sport that involves snow. Snowboarding! It's called snowboarding. You slide down snow-covered slopes on a special board. What? Did you hear that, Cheryl? That sounds super fun. Zach, when we go to Ymir, we're racing. That got them pumped up. Sure did. I'm glad we shared that with them. Reading at least, we're just about out of time. Do you have any closing remarks? No, we're done already? I want to hear more. How about we wrap it up by answering one more question? I want to ask. You two seem to like each other. Are you going out? Huh? Well, are you or aren't you? It seems suspicious seeing as you're both in the same place. Uh, you caught me by surprise. There's no way Elise and I are... No way. Uh. Uh. Never mind. We forgot to tell you that we're siblings. Seems like there's more to it. Fine, the one last question. Mr. Reen, do you want your lover to be older or younger than you? <laughs> Why are you asking that? Super inappropriate to ask a teacher. Uh, this is a trap. This is all a trap. I'm gonna say same age. I guess the same age. If it were me, there's no way I'm getting with Zack. What? That's what I was gonna say. Oh, they're gonna date when they get older. Cla classic childhood, childhood stuff. I'll never date you. I'll never date you. And then when they reach teenager, teenage years, start having the feelings. There can't possibly be a right answer there. You know, for the AP. Yeah, we did it. What's Jinko doing here? Wait, what the? So many plushies. They got Mishies too, and they're limited edition? She loves Mishy, that's all. Calm your tits.
Does that mean Cerberus is manning our store? Yeah. Talking to the door? I didn't buy weapons, though. Usually you can buy weapons. On three days. Or am I, am I wrong? Might be wrong. I don't have a ton of material. Take, let's just take a look. It's not bad. It just feels... I just don't like... I just... Mm, you get to know these characters so well that, like... It's hard to change the way they look so flippantly. I gotta double check your shop. Alright. Yo, what up, Randy? Here for your meal? Yeah, the lunch menu here is tops. I've been really busy lately, so I figure I deserve a nice little break here and there so every so often. Every so often. It kinda looks to me like your whole free day has been one nice little break. You got me there. Anyway, you should take a break once in a while, too. Stop worrying so much about everything, yeah? I don't mind shooting the breeze with you if you want. I'll just make you. I might take you up on that sometime. Yeah, so I want to pee off. Need that, some of this. What are you up to, Toa? I want to make something energizing for lunch. I'm starting to get nervous. We haven't even started yet. Calm down. Easier said than done. Are you two waiting for someone? Yes, actually. We arranged a chess match with opponents from outside the school. I suppose outside the school is technically correct. Don't worry, Instructor Reen. No matter who our opponents are, we'll give it everything we got. Something he's not telling me. It's with the main branch, isn't it? Hey, Kurt, would it be alright if I watched the match? If we've got outside visitors, it's my responsibility as an instructor to greet them, after all. Heck yeah, it'd be a huge relief to have you there, instructor. Because our opponents are... It seems we've kept you waiting. Is it the prince? Oh, it's the other two. These uniforms are from the main campus. Was that instructor Schwarzer I spy there? Pleasure to see you again. Thank you for having us for your Panzer Soldat training. You were the two who came with Prince Cedric. But does it mean you're Kurt and Sydney's opponents today? <laughs> I am Ada of the main campus's Class 1. I'm Fritz, also from Class 1. A pleasure, Instructor Schwarzer. Of course, they have to be all uppity sounding. I'm from class one. <laughs> J 
Checkmate. Thank you. Well, how did this... Damn, before I knew it, I already lost. Damn it, she's one frigid beauty. Your eyelashes are so long, they should be illegal. She's starting to drool. You can't afford to lose, Kurt. Understand? Don't worry. There are no issues here. Maybe I was worried for nothing. Check. Well played, I resign. Yeah, you did it, Kurt! You're always thinking you might intentionally lose to me. Looks like you've let go of what happened with his highness. It's time for the final match. Shall we begin? Yeah. What was that? Oh, haven't you heard? If he loses this friendly match, he's going to transfer to the main campus. What? This is the first I've heard of it. Is this Prince Cedric's doing? No, no, it was simply our suggestion. But seeing as he didn't tell anyone, he must feel rather torn over it. One more push. He's not playing like he was earlier. Is he losing on purpose? He was supposed to guard the Imperial family. I'm sure he'd take any excuse to return to His Highness's side. Ultimately, it's his decision. Kurt, listen to your heart. Do you really just want to be by His Highness's side? Hmm, what was I thinking? The real battle begins right here. I hope you're ready for me. Checkmate. You came back from that? How cool is this guy? You win. You have the perfect excuse. Are you sure this is what you want? I don't know. But right now, what I need the most isn't being by his side. That's just the way I feel. Well, a loss is a loss, I suppose. We'll just be on our way, then. Well, then, Instructor Schwarzer, Sydney, Kurt, we shall see you soon. Yeah, good luck with uh, your classes at the main campus. Now, if you will excuse us. Hmm, excuse us. Come on, Sydney, you suck. You suck at chess. I was gonna go back to town and, like, continue crawling my way through the areas like I was, but... This is right here, so... I think I can keep this up. It won't be good news for Muse, but I need to consider transferring. Did you say something about transferring? Um, I was thinking about quitting the tea ceremony club. Really? Why? I joined this club because I wanted to become more manly, but I haven't been getting the results I was hoping for. I don't really understand his logic. If you want to do something else, I won't stop you. Well, I haven't really decided what to switch to. I do have some reservations, though. Tea ceremonies, huh? Master Kafai taught me a handful of things. In any case, Kyrie doesn't seem to have a grasp on tea ceremonies. I may be able to help him a little. I actually have some experience with tea ceremonies. If you don't mind, Kyrie, would you allow me to pour some tea? Of course, I don't mind. If anything, it would be an honor. Kyrie, you've learned all the basic procedures, right? Yes. In that case, show me what you've learned. Is this a real thing? I mean, no, it's, it, of course it's a real thing. How to eat sweets. Alright, let's get started. Before you have tea, have some sweets. Why would I know this? I assume a small bite. Hmm. 
finish, and he left a mark. Am I supposed to know this? To, like, get the AP? I forgot to do this before having the sweets, but I'm supposed to... Uh... Bow head for grace. That sounds like a ceremony thing. Maybe this is a cultural thing. Like people in Japan just know this, and I'm and it's very basic knowledge, and I'm just supposed to know this. Thank you. That was delicious. Uh. Uh. It's gotta be the fingertips or the rotating. This sounds weird, for like. This hoity-toity ceremony. I mean, that could be it, too. I'm gonna go with a napkin. So you use your fingertips? Probably supposed to read about this somewhere. Maybe it's in the library. Maybe it's just a thing that people know. Overall, you did well. Well, I didn't get the extra AP for this. You said you want to be more manly. Why is that? I guess I just want to emulate my father. My father's very masculine and a skilled swordsman. He's been my hero for my entire life. Hmm. Reminds me of my dad. But I take after my mother more, I was always teased for being girly. That being said, I am well aware that everyone has things they are more or less suited for. Which is why I got interested in tea ceremonies. I thought I could discover my inner manliness. I guess I wasn't suited for this either. You make it look easy, but... Don't be so hard on yourself. I actually think you've gotten manly manlier since you first came here. Consent your growth as the leader of the medical team. Everyone relies on you during the field exercises. At the very least, you seem very manly to me. I think you're just focusing too much on your appearance and not enough on your actions. You said it yourself, you want to find your inner manual and manliness, right? In that sense, I think the tea ceremony club is perfect for you. Practice the procedures until you can routinely perform them without any wasted movements. It's similar to martial arts. When you hone your skills, you will gain confidence. At least that's what I think. I'm a proud Erebonian man. Yes, you are. Who's proud? Who's proud? You're so proud. I'm going to the library. Can I just... Hold on. I can probably just fast travel there. I'm on the first floor, so... Or do I have a book on this? Oh, there's already the book tab. Uh, these are all stories. Wait, where's like the recommended reading thing? Was that this? I'm gonna open all these just to make sure they get get added. Is there anything about tea? I don't know if any of these actually get added to my book or not. No, they do not.
I'm gonna check all of these for tea related entries. I don't think there's gonna be anything tea related in here. I think that's just the thing I'm supposed to know. Maybe it's the thing that all kids learn in Japan. Whether they like do it or not, it's like part of like childhood education. I don't fucking know. But whatever. <laughs> I will accept this loss of AP. I'll accept it quietly. organizing all the entries we got. These are the good ones, and these are the crappy ones. Have fun looking through them all. This one's not bad. Oh, this one's not bad. These two look really promising, too. Thanks, Lindley. His voice is, like, really deep and gravelly. Why she hates him so much, or maybe maybe she is that maybe she's a child, like romantically, and it's just like maybe she's like the kids where it's like, I like you, but I don't know how to handle it, so I say I hate you. Instead of being like, hey, I like you and flirting, it's like you're you're you have cooties and you push them over and run away. That's kind of what she's doing <laughs> to Monk. Yeah. Anyways, what's up? I'm really gonna do it. You're Frankie, right? I saw your request. You really came. All right. No way I'll lose if I got the Ashen Chevalier with me. Just you watch, world. I'm gonna be a burning, blazing star. Well, before you go supernova, can I go over the request with you? The request mentioned your dream job. Does that mean you need job hunting advice? That's right, instructor. I need your advice. Actually, I want to try and become a bracer. A bracer? Hold on. Can I get the whole story? Oh yeah, let's take it from the top. Tell you the truth, Instructor, I actually went to a pretty ritzy high school in Heimdall. From there, I got hired at one of the hardest jobs to get into, the Heimdall Bank. Seriously? I didn't see that coming. Looking at me now, I know what you mean. I quit that place after only six months. Salary was good, but the job was just passing near left to right, and the quotas were insane. I just couldn't find any worth or meaning to it, so one day I quit. Pops didn't agree with my choice and won't let me forget it. It's true I'm still unemployed, though. So yeah been spending my days in an idle haze. Dropout. I've heard these are there are a lot of people like him these days. But when I was at Heimdall the other day, I found it my perfect dream job. And that's a bracer? I'm guessing one of them helped you out of some trouble while you were there. How'd you know? I thought I was done for when I lost my wallet, but she brought it back to me. A woman with tanned skin and silver hair. I've never seen someone as cool before her. Hey, that's Cherizard! Instructor, you know a lot about braces, right? On account of you being the Ashen Chevalier and all. I get what's going on now. No idea who the bracer you met was, but I know, do know a few of them. 
I also know the way they work in their job, job contracts, so I think I can give you some advice. It doesn't seem like he understands how difficult it is to be braced in Erebonia. This is something that could affect his entire life. I can't afford to give him any bad advice. If you're truly serious about this. However, if I'm going to help you, I'll need to judge, judge you to see if you're cut out for it. Being a bracer is not an easy job. If at any point I feel you don't have what it takes, I'll tell you so, alright? There are three big ones. Proper judgment, the ability to quickly assess the situation, and handle it properly. Compassion, protecting others without question. Finally, the courage needed to change judgment and compassion into action. Test those qualities one by one in that order. Frankie, I'm going to give you three tests. Uh, 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 uh. Second point of test, judgment. Probably Vantage Masters, actually. I'll have you battle me in a game of Vantage Masters. Card game? Alright, I don't know much about card games, though. Alright. God damn it! Alright, take the Thor's entrance exam. I mean, I did graduate from a famous high school, so I'm pretty confident I could pass it. Sorting documents? Oh, I guess that's technically... I guess that's technically... Using judgment to, like, decide how to sort the documents. <laughs> I'm gonna have you sort some documents. Just come with me. Man, this place is pretty crazy. I'd heard it was a state-of-the-art military school, but dang. Yeah, it's pretty much fresh out of the packaging. Honestly, I can't really say we're, used to, we're using it to its full potential yet. Here are all the documents to be sorted, and I'll need you to organize these. I got, I got permission for you to do this, but since some of this info is confidential, please keep it to yourself. Yeah, no worries there. This is all pretty boring stuff. It's like purchase orders and requests. Some sheets from scrapped lessons and curriculums. Hmm, should I just toss these? Organizing these documents is usually Instructor Toa's job. He'll need good decision-making skills to get it all sorted out right. All done. Good job. Took a little while to get through all that, huh? He went through all of that in 30 minutes. That is a shit ton of paper. Especially if they go through it sheet by sheet. This would take hours. This would take, like... Nine hours. I've done this before. It takes a long fucking time. Unless unless a lot of them are like stapled together and it's actually like a lot less, but like holy shit, that's a lot of paper. I used to do stuff like this back when I worked at the bank. This sex for submission, this one's for bookkeeping, this one's for scrapped plans that might still be useful. Some of them were missing dates, so I wrote them in with with red pen. It's a good thing the school is new and the missing dates didn't stretch back too far and I was able to figure them out easily enough. I'm actually kind of shocked at how well done this is. Did I pass the first test? You definitely did. In order to be a bracer, you'll need knowledge to go along with your judgment. Seeing as how you graduated from a pre pre prestigious school, I don't see that being a problem. Woo! <laughs> Alright, this time I'll have you... I mean, it's either trash or water the garden. It can't be checking his reputation. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. He has to be doing something new, right? Or is this like a test that, like, he's already done with this? <laughs> you know what? The last one was sorting documents, and I didn't think it'd be sorting documents. I'm not going to be like his reputation. But this next test, nothing at all. I'm gonna ask around and see what people in town have to say about you. Wow. I was actually... Since I was completely wrong, then what I don't think it is must be right. I'm so bored. Maybe I should just walk around. This place seems interesting. 
My name is Celestine. I work at the branch campus. If you don't mind, allow me to make you something. Wow. I hope it suits your palate. Frankie's a little older than Gina and Daisy. They used to all play together while, when they were little. You play games that were meant for girls. That nice young man helped me when I tripped. I remember that. He even carried me all the way home. How considerate. Well, that's right. He's a good kid, but something's off about him. I forgot when it, when it was exactly, but he was trying to guide a tourist to a destination. And he accidentally went to a... Com to the completely wrong place. It was hilarious. It is funny, but it's not very bracer-like of him. The other day, he rescued a turtle near the river. It was turned upside down. Pretty good story, huh? I think I've heard enough. I'm starting to feel like him wanting to be a bracer is no surprise at all. He and Fee may be nothing alike, but I'm guessing the average bracer is more like him. Celestine? It's Reen. Oh yes, I'm having him relax now, just as planned. He's also been provided with plenty of food. Planning on having him take a pretty tough test after this. Oh, it's no trouble at all, though I don't know the details. It's clear this request is somewhat outside the norm. Don't hesitate to let me know if there's anything else I can help with. There is one more thing. Can you tell Frankie to come to the keep? We'll be performing the final test there. So every other time, I actually end up controlling somebody to beat up Reen. Am I going to control Frankie to beat up Reen? Military academies even have things like this? It's called Einhell Keep. It's a facility for combat training. I'll be testing the final quality you'll need here. So this is the last test, huh? That means the second test. Yes, you passed. You definitely have some potential. That's what I think for now. I knew it. I felt a jolt of lightning when I saw that woman in the capital. I knew it was something I had to do. I knew it was my destiny. To be honest, I wasn't so sure at first, but now I feel like you've got a pretty good chance. However, this last test will be the most difficult yet, because this will be a test of your courage. That's a quality a bracer should have for sure. I had to prepare a short course for you in Einhell Keep. If you can keep up with me until the end, you'll pass. There will be monsters roaming around in there, so it'll be dangerous. Are you sure you want to go ahead with it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get this final test started. Yeah. All right, beginning the mission. Frankie, stay close to me. Just gotta make it to the goal, then I pass. Is that a monster? This is getting a little intense. Oh, I can't think like that. Let's do this, Teach. Okay, he's not actually, like, a party member. take long to find a fight. This will be a good warm-up. Uh, Frankie? It's not the reaction I expected. Everyone ready? It's gonna have, like, no HP, isn't it? Ha! Oh, it's not bad. I'm no! Up. I'm gonna be blind. It's my am turn. I gonna get? Am I getting my ass kicked because I'm blind? Arcus, activate! Yeah. Let's go. Crimson Slash. <laughs> get fucked. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Stupid, stupid rabbit thing. I don't want animals to equate those two. Are you okay? You bet I am. Come on, we gotta keep moving. Yeah, there's a long way to go. We're gonna die! 
it's really petrified. Everyone ready? It's my turn. Yeah. I don't know why I like its name so much. That is Tagamemnon. I'm up. Hello, Tagamemnon. Get back! It's my turn. Sit. Let's go. No. Crimson Slash. Let's go. Crimson Slash. I can still fight. Oh, I'm in. I'm in a bad way. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Nice work. He's actually hurt slightly more than I would have thought. I'm getting the feeling you might be scared of monsters. You kidding me? This is nothing. Let's keep going. It's really not looking well. Is it okay for us to be doing this? He is showing a lot of courage, though. Like, courage, like, Reen right now is not courageous. He's just, like, confident and skilled. Because courage is, like, pushing through the fear. It's like being afraid and pushing through it. it like, if you're, not, if you're not afraid in the first place, you're not very courageous. You're just... You're, you're, just you're not courageous, you're an idiot. Is what people say. How's this guy? Can't be serious. Now, bring it on! It's my turn. Oh, I do have my own orders. I forgot about that. Should probably do that right now. Form up, Iron Will Let's formation. Go. Especially since I'm just gonna battle scope to start with. Ha! Wait to win. Resistance to water. That's my only attack element for spells. It's my turn. Get back. Let's go. Crimson Slash. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Yeah. It's my turn. Let's just try Soul Arcus, Blur. Activate. See how it goes. Yeah. It's not bad. It's my turn. It's not great. Form. It's my turn. Sit. It's my turn. Crimson Slash. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Why is it still giving me the thing? Okay. Crimson Slash. Wait, did it heal itself? I'm up. Or I just not been paying attention to how much damage I've been doing. Form up! Iron Will Formation! Let's go! Ha. Let's go! Crimson Slash! Let's go! Ha. Maybe we got an HP heal on its turn I didn't notice. It's my turn! Crimson Slash! I'm up! Ha. Let's go! Crimson Slash! It's my turn! Ha. It's my turn! Ha. Let's go! Crimson Slash! Alright, nice work. Frankie, you still with me? Uh, seems like he passed out and started frothing at the mouth. You might need to put those dreams of becoming a bracer on hold. <laughs> to be honest, I've always been a scaredy cat and I'm no good at handling trouble. I knew somewhere deep down in my heart that I wasn't cut out to be a bracer. I just wanted to dream a little. I see. I'm not, I'm not sure. There has to be some way he can pursue his dream. I can't be irresponsible. Hello, Master Rain, you seem troubled. Oh, your Celestine were you watching us? Yes, though it may have been a bit inelegant to do so, I found myself concerned. Your name is Frankie. It seems that you do not have all the qualities necessary to become a bracer. But is that all it will take to deter you? 
If your resolve is so weak, perhaps you should not ha even have tried to begin with. The world is not such an easy place that one may use a lack of qualities in as an excuse to give up. I know that I do, but I'm sick of all this. I'm so sick of being miserable. My word. If the route to your goal is blocked, you must simply find another path instead. Yes, for example, even if you cannot become a bracer, you can still work for the guild. Oh, Celestine, I should have known you already had the answer. That's right, the guild also employs receptionists. It requires sound judgment, the same philosophy as a bracer. I'm sure you'd be great at it. That's true, there is another way. I think I might want to try it. Even if I can't become a bracer, I still want to help people like they do. There's one problem, though. It's not widely known, but the Bracer Guild is under heavy restrictions in Erebonia currently. Most branches here have been closed, so it'll be difficult to find a job at one. Say what? No way. Did I not just finish telling you not to give up so easily? The guild branches in the Empire may reopen one day. So I ask you once more, are you going to give up? No way am I giving up. I'm gonna do it, even if I can't become a receptionist, I'll find another bracer-related job. It would appear you have finally found your resolve. I have one final suggestion for you. Until such a time that you find a job with the, with the guild, why not work here at the Academy? Here at the Academy? Yes, even with my help here, the branch campus is in dire need of more people. It would help me greatly if I had an assistant to, well, assist with tasks around the campus. All those odd jobs would require similar skills to the work the guild does. And you'd be able to learn a lot working under Celestine. I'll see to it that he will. I don't know how long it'll take, and I'll probably be a burden at times, but... Celestine, please let me work for you. Yes, well then. Welcome to Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. Especially caretaker. Cool, cool. I'm sure it was a bit of a pain dealing with me. But thanks, instructor. Now I can finally move forward with my life. Well, don't worry about it. This is a big help for the school and students, too. I'll be counting on you, Frankie. You bet, instructor. Okay. Where the fuck was I? I was outside the... Something or other. None of the ones that are listed here. Well, I technically did a third one. I guess that's a branch... ...thing. Plus one. I'm definitely not getting an S rank. For chapter three. I've missed... I've missed AP. I have failed miserably. The only thing I haven't done is go into the mayor's house. Okay. It's two bonding events. That's it. No more side quests. Okay. Before I do that, though, before I do that, though, I'm gonna take a quick break, switch my legs, all the good stuff. Sorry, I'll be back. 